Half an hour, Jenny Eclair gathers together a comic bunch of clips in an irresistible pick and mix. And for BBC Two now, strap yourselves down. We're in for a bumpy ride to the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the celebrity television quiz, Shooting Stars. And now, please welcome your host for this evening, Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. So busy, busy, well, it's good. They're supervised by the FBI. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and look over here to my left, it's the crazy double barrel Cockneys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got a double barrel name on that team, and they're all Cockneys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm from Swindon. <laughs> Swindon? Swindon, like Ulrika. Same as Ulrika. She's from Swindon. No, that's Sweden, though. I think you'll find it's pronounced Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> But Janet! Oh, I see you. Go on, have a, have a feel. Have a... Get off! Get off! Do you feel your thighs? Go on then. Get off! <laughs> They're Get rock off. hard! Yes, they are. <laughs> Team B, Rolf. Greetings. Greetings to you, Rolf, Ulrika, and Tony Mortimer. What a fantastic lineup. I think you'll agree. Can I. Can I. What? What? I've got, I've got to sit on that. No! <laughs> What's, What's happened? What's Still warm. With you, fidget I want your chair. I'll tell you what that's the matter with it. Look, here, hang on. <laughs> that's the matter, it's full of teeth, isn't it? <laughs> it's full of teeth, what are you thinking of, Tony? <laughs> full of false teeth, Tony. <laughs> what are you thinking of, sitting on a seat full of false teeth? Yeah, Can nice you one. believe Cheers, that? Uh, nice one. You. Pick one for the phone next time. Yeah, here's your mum's. Hey? <laughs> yeah, they are, actually. All of them. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, if during the course of this evening's quiz you should hear this noise... <laughs> Don't worry, it's just Mark's group he's outside trying to get a glass <laughs> of this time. So, Mark, if they do get a bit rowdy, would you not mind just going out the side door and popping your todger through the little <laughs> Keep him happy for a couple of seconds. <laughs> He's a greasy lover, ain't no doubt about it. Yes, mate. he loves blowing his sexual clarinet on the beaches of Wales. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the guests. But there's no quiz without him. Let's hear applause. It's Georgie Dow! <laughs> Nice to see you, Josh. It always is. That isn't it. Lovely. Now the first round, as always, is true or false. Is it? Tr is, is it true or is it false? Is it true or is we it false? We just don't know, do we? Is it true? We don't know. This we is don't know yet. For you to decide is it true or false? We've got to find out. Hopefully, <laughs> we need your help. First we, question. We need to find out, don't we? First question is for you, Rolf. Yep. You're an Australian, of course. I am indeed. Ulrika likes to go down under. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What have said? Rolf, true or false? Camels have six eyelids. Could that be true or must it be false? Uh, well, it must be false. It's true or not, <laughs> <Rolf. laughs> okay. You know, I was nicknamed the camel at school. <laughs> Why? Good little Arab boys used to ride around on my back. <laughs> Unlucky, Rolf. Well, <laughs> Janet. Yes. Oh, but Janet. What? Before we go any further, I've what? got something you for you. Hello, 
fantastic. That was, just, that was just a little song for you, Janet, in order that I may procure you later after the show. Well... But first, Janet, true or false? A dumpling is named because it looks like a little dump. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's obviously false. It is it's false! false. Well, well, yeah. That was nicknamed Dumpling at school. Was it a bit porky? No, it's hanging around with faggots. <laughs> <laughs> I was always accompanied well, by that. No, it probably isn't, Janet, you're quite right. But I don't care. <laughs> well, Rinka, you're not going out with Hunter anymore, right? No. So who goes out and gathers the berries and nuts and... <laughs> <laughs> well, Rinka, true or false? Indeed. When a baby kicks frantically with its legs, it is attempting to reverse time. True or false? <laughs> You'd probably put it down to that with your son, but the answer is no, no, that's false. It is false. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mark Lamar, the sexual... <laughs> <laughs> What's all this about then, Mark? Your sexual honey jet. He's just smouldering, isn't he? Yes, he's just he is. sitting there emoting. With it, with Has he on. turned you on? I'm getting warm around the knee area. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way out, don't worry. What is it with you then? I don't, I don't know what you're on about. You are just the sexual trumpet of Kensington <laughs> High Street, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there with his living tribute to Ayers Rock atop his head. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely idea. Lovely idea. Well, Mark, well, we've got some film of you, Mark, yeah. for your sexual antics. Have a look at look this. Machine. Couldn't you have found a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Not a plug-in one. <laughs> Tony! The question, true or false? Roger Cook, the investigative journalist, <laughs> is the mysterious benefactor behind the art... <laughs> <laughs> ..is the mysterious benefactor behind the RSPO? False. It is false. What is the RSPO? Why, it's the Royal Society for the Promotion of Orgies. <laughs> <laughs> it is false! <laughs> this is great, Bobble. Isn't it nice? <laughs> Daniela, another EastEnder. Wow, I can't believe it. Have you got a lovely bunch of coconuts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I can guarantee that there's plenty of hair on them. <laughs> Daniela, true or false, John Prescott likes to parade around his estate where he lives wearing a pair of leggings and high heels. <laughs> true or false, Daniela? I think that would have to be false. Do you reckon it's false? Yeah. Well, I can reveal tonight <laughs> that it is true. <laughs> and there's the evidence. There's the evidence. John Prescott <laughs> and his leggings. That's the end of the true or false round, so let's go straight up to George Dawes and say, what are the scores, George Dawes? Between non-stop Camborne Wednesdays, Tabitha, turn the car round, we're going back to Dorset! <laughs> Both teams have got two! <laughs> Ralph, I hope you don't mind, but I brought along a didgeridoo for you to play, just to demonstrate how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, here we go. No, get off. Get off. Give, me, give us get it. Get off. Give us it! Give us it! You'll probably break the blooming thing. Oh, you will. <laughs> less pressure, less pressure. Less pressure, less pressure. That's not bad for a oh, I'm <laughs> That wasn't a digital joke. <laughs> I am stirred. I was just getting a bit strained. <laughs> right. That wasn't bad for a big thing, is it? <laughs> that wasn't bad for a big thing, <laughs> You've put lipstick on my face, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. It. It was, something's gone horribly, terribly wrong. But you look gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> you do. It's Rolf. Very really funny, isn't it? Rolf, show us how it's done properly here. <laughs> oh, 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 what's that? Oh that's, oh, that's one of those. Jesus Christ, what a strange testicle, Rolf. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, hold on, uh, George will give you a little beat for you to uh, to get okay. you going, like. I'm not um, <laughs> off you go. Yeah, hang on. Fantastic, Rob. Thank you. It's cheered me right up, no end. It was, it was fantastic. What do you call that tune? It was called... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> don't train me like a tune. Well, the next round is the clips round. We're going to show one clip. Watch it very closely, because each team's going to get a question on the clip as soon as it's finished. Now, it's an extract from a BBC period drama, <laughs> Jane Hairs. <laughs> <laughs> Madam. Thank you, James. Lady Caroline, may I have the pleasure of your hand? <laughs> Excuse me, Lady Caroline, perhaps I might be the one who takes you onto the dance floor for the next dance. No, come, come, Lady Caroline, surely I shall have the honour of handing you to the dance floor. Oh, I'm sorry, kind sirs, but I'm afraid my hand's already been pledged to another. Another? Well, who can it be? Lance Corporal Boiled Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl in the country, what can his secret be? They say it's his curious dance. Ah. <laughs> For team B, can you tell me how long does it take to boil an ostrich egg? Is it 30 minutes, 40 minutes, or one hour? Hmm, that's can tricky. We... Of course, you may, yes. Look at them conferring. We reckon, uh, although it may be dependent upon the size of the mother, uh, in this case, we suggest it may take around 40 minutes. It's the correct answer. Whoa! <laughs> An egg question for you, Team A. <laughs> Is it possible for a horse to reconstruct a broken egg? <laughs> no, well, it wasn't in the Humpty Dumpty. Well, I'm not going to answer. Why? Why? You're twice as brainy as us two or something. It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was four times, but I took her into account, so it lessened. <laughs> your hey, sexuality hey. earlier. Put it on! I know the answer! Put it on! What are you doing, Vic? I'm giving him a dressing down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm giving... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Vic? I'm giving him a dressing down. <laughs> I said if he plays up, give him a dressing down. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Thanks, though. That could be my full week's wages, that. <laughs> what, what were you saying? No, the answer's no, because all the King's horses and all the King's men couldn't put Humpty back together. You're quite right, You're quite because right, Marlon, they did try and get the horses to do it first, didn't they? <laughs> and it didn't work. It made it a lot harder for the King's men. Yeah, and they couldn't do it either. So what's the point? <laughs> Well done, Mark. No, that was very good. Very good. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. With his licorice sculpture on his head. <laughs> That's the end of the clips round, so let's go over to George Dawes. So, what are the scores? George Dawes. Down a bit. Down a bit. Down a bit. Down a bit. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. <laughs> that team's got three! <laughs> Come on, Rolf! Yeah. Come on, Rolf. What are you doing? What are you fiddling about with? I'm just measuring it. You're measuring it? <laughs> That's how long it is. 
How long is it? It's about three inches. <laughs> it's not very big. It's it? not long enough, is it? I'll so, put it back. Shall, shall, I, we? shall I put it back? Yeah. It's a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, little fella, when you're a little bit bigger. <laughs> That's a Raker's catchphrase. <laughs> Next round is the uh, club singing round where we invite my colleague, Mr. Vic Reeves, who should be seated here, Rolf. Hello. There he is. <laughs> to sing a song in the club style, That's you've right. got to listen carefully and try and guess what song he's singing. It's an open note, it's fingers on the buzzers. You think you know what it is? Buzz in. George, are you ready? Yeah, but what if I weren't ready? Do you know what I mean? We'd just leave. <laughs> OK. Are you ready, George? Aye. Uh, what song's he singing? <laughs> Come on. Ah, Lamar. It was, uh, The Hustle. It's the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> Do the hustle by Van McCoy. Let's hear that song sung properly. <laughs> Do the hustle. Do the hustle, Do the hustle, you. Do the hustle by Van McCoy. Now that's our impressions over in a kind of singing way. But now we're going to go to our guests and see what they can offer up as we ask the random light to make its false force face sad. <laughs> <laughs> It's Daniela. It's smashing, baby. Yeah, shagadelic. Mm. Lamar. It's Austin Powers. No, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, Daniela? Correct. Well done. Is it? <laughs> Random light, like a dancing banana. Select a guest who looks quite like Carlos Santana. <laughs> <laughs> Harris. Yes. <laughs> My impression is as follows. <laughs> Lamar. Asthma. That's it. That's <laughs> looking to be a real bastard. <laughs> I forgot that you did that noise. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Find the life out of me, mother. <laughs> okay, then that's the end of the. That's the end of the impression round. So George does one of the scores. <laughs> What, you ain't gonna strangle that kit? Yada, yada, yada! <laughs> rika has got four, Mark's got seven! Yeah. 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 Bob, do you remember the time we spent in that factory? Of course I do. I was in the paint shop and I was in the tool shop. I played with this ray gun and I played with me tools. <laughs> Next round is the Dove from Above round, and I need all our guest assistants in beckoning down the Dove from Above via the gift of the coup. So if you can help me guess, let's bring that Dove down. <laughs> Here she comes, right on cue, by the stains on the tail. She's fresh from the loo. Beautiful. <laughs> That's the beautiful plump Dove from Above. Now, you'll notice, Rolf... Yeah, I'm going to tell you, Rolf. Yeah. Rolf, you'll notice... Bob, 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 can I stop you there? Oh, you have been. <clears throat> a dove died after nesting in a brewery, sadly, but on its gravestone it read, To our darling Sandra, nest in yeast. As I was saying, printed on the side of the book is categories of questions. Now, I'm going to ask you... Get off! <laughs> I'm going to ask you all individually to choose a category from the Dove and then answer a question thereon. Now, hidden behind one of the categories is a very special prize. Should you choose that category, you'll hear this noise. Iran. <laughs> and if during this round you should answer any question incorrectly, you'll hear this noise. Uvav. Is that clear, Rolf? Iran and Uvav, yeah. Tony? Yes. There's the Dove. All right. What do you want? Me mammy. Oh, you want your mummy, do you? Oh. <laughs> is your bedroom a bit dusty? It's getting on your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> is, your, is your egg a bit under-fried? <laughs> I don't want this, this mummy. Tony! Yes? Your question. Please. 
I'm going to ask you what to do an internationally approved gesture. Not you, Rolf, although I'm looking at you. Yeah. It's for other reasons. It's part of a criminal investigation. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony, I'm going to ask you to give me an internationally approved gesture. For example, that's hello. <laughs> See what I mean? And I want you to give me... Oh, goodbye. Yeah, we're a very really good one. <laughs> Tony, yes. can you give me the internationally approved gesture for... That lady has a beautiful figure. No! That's that... What a lovely big monkey nut. <laughs> Tony, what's your favourite kind of bucket? <laughs> A home base aluminium one for twenty nine. I like the way that this man thinks. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite right. But plastic's not durable, is it? Right. I'm with you, Tony. What? Forget the rest of them. Let's me and you go on holiday. <laughs> Ulrika, what do you want? I want me daddy. Oh, you want your daddy? Well, right, that's a very good choice. <laughs> a very good choice indeed. Ulrika wants her daddy. Complete this popular uh, phrase, why do fools... Fall in love. No, rush in, just like you did, Ulrika. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, would you like to pick something? Go on, what do you want, Mark? I'll have encouragement. Well, go on, Mark. Go on, you can do it. Pick one. You can do it. Go on, you can do it. You can it doesn't do matter it. how shy you are. All right, then, Mark, you've selected... You're very kind. George's son. Smoke a loop in a toy, me and them and them and me. We'll show you what you can do with a load of balls and a snooker cue. So true, my heart seems always in love. The live of the stuff of dreams. Head over heels and toe to Snoke a loop. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, George. Back to your position. <laughs> Mark, there we had a, a medley of Chaz and Dave hits. But can you tell me who is the sweatier, Chaz or Dave? <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? I haven't done too much research, but I think it's Dave. You're going to say Dave? Well, we spoke to Chaz on the phone today, live from Beirut. Here's Chaz. Yes, I must admit that I, Chaz, am the sweatier of the two. <laughs> well, it looks like it was Chaz. <laughs> Unlucky. Janet. Yes, my darling. What have you picked? Well, I haven't got any choice, have I? Look. George and Terrace House. That's it. I All right, then. then. Here's a clip of The Who. People try to pick us down. <laughs> Played by the first four Doctor Who's. But can you tell me who is the current Doctor Who? Who is the current Doctor Who? Oh, there was that one in the film. Yeah. The, the film that was on the telly. Was the, it? The whole again. It's a it's great, great answer. answer. <laughs> That's the end of the Doctor of a Book Round. <laughs> so, George Dawes, what are the scores? <laughs> oh, Rick. Oh, Rick has got six, Mark's got ten! Whoa! <laughs> Next round's a final round, a quick fire round. We don't know how much time we've got, but when the time's up, you'll hear this noise. We don't know how much time we've got left, but when the time's up, you'll hear this noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, first to the buzzers, are you ready? Are those fingers hovering? Nice one, Rolf. In your dreams, pal. Funny man. <laughs> <laughs> Which former international tennis player now makes underpants? That's uh, the correct answer. Name the kind of sofa that has had its end kicked off. Shays Long. Correct. <laughs> Name the style of heartbeat. 
Nick Berry. No, it's a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> The dominant colour in a Battenberg is what? That's... Oh, Johnson. It's pink or that slightly bigger. No, it's, no, it's no, yellow! No, it's yellow! It's yellow! Because of the outside. It's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. It's it's yellow. Marzipan, of course, haven't you? Yeah, we all forgot the marzipan. We all which forgot is a vital so ingredient the marzipan. To the Battenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Do drawers open, in or out? That's uh, Harris. Out. No, it's in. I'm thinking from the perspective of a trapped pigeon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On the M40. That is. Who? Nine. Nine. Lamar. Seven. No, I'm afraid it's nine. <laughs> I don't know how much time we got left, but with the time's up, you know, this nine. Oh, is that the end of the quiz? No. It is, so George knows what are the final scores? And tonight's winners with 12 points, they've won the quiz. They're going to go on to do the final challenge. They've got 12 points. Congratulations. To them, they've got their 12 <laughs> points. They're going to go on. They've gone to the next level with 12 points. They're the winners tonight, Mark Lamar! Yeah. So, Mark, you won tonight. Who are you going to select to play tonight's final game? Janet. Janet Street Porter, please come with me. <laughs> As we play. Industrial incident. Oh no! Yes. Oh no, do I have to? Yes. <laughs> What's happened, Janet, is you decided for your own reasons to spend an afternoon walking around an industrial estate in Slough. <laughs> now you fell asleep at the perimeter fence of the Glory Glue factory. Oh. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> and got your back covered with glue. Oh <laughs> Brother Vic. Thank you very much, Brother Mortimer. Well, now then, you walk up and you decided to have a nose around the Osram light bulb <laughs> factory. <laughs> but on the escaping, you've got some uh, terrible, terrible bit of packaging stuck onto the glue on your back. Now, we're it. Put now, this on your back, Janet. That's we're going to attach the packaging that's stuck by the Gloy oh, no! from the Osram factory onto your back. Here's Brother Mortimer to carry on the story. Are you comfortable? No! No? OK. <laughs> Up. Can I, can I have a nice soft bit on my shoulders? No. <laughs> right. no. Yeah. No. Oh. The only person who can serve you, Janet, oh, is what's it called? Keith Peacock? No, Ken Peacock. Ken Peacock, who's the doorman at the Expel Air Factory. Right. He can't hear your cries for help because of the Expel Air fan. So you've got to approach Ken. Come over here, Janet. You've got to approach Ken and turn off. The oh. pesky Expel Air fan, in order to get his attention I and be safe. All the way over there. Yes, wow. it's all the way over there. Janet, if you should achieve the near impossible and press the stop button with your face. <laughs> 20 pounds! No, no, no. Not 20 pounds. Right, okay. You will get a free autopsy of a partridge at the London Hospital. Okay. <laughs> Here she goes. OK, hold on, hold on. Get on with it, why is it Sorry, fun? sorry. <laughs> that is a safety feature, Janet. Are you ready? There's 20 pounds in this. Right, I'm ready. Are you ready? What are you doing? Oh, God. But you've are got you to ready? shout, hey, Ken Peacock, <laughs> Ken Peacock. Ken <laughs> Peacock! OK, let's put the fan on. Well, there's more of Vic and Bob's Celebrity Quiz in this new BBC video and book available now.